Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is the Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Aria by Crazy. We are doing more quarantine reactions today. So that means no set. Uh, that means no editing. This is going to be a one shot, one take reaction. So I hope you guys are ready. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting me to check out this debut so we're getting into it now before we do this video is brought to you by our patreon patreon.com slash formatherapy it's the best way to support us uh however if you don't want to support us monetarily we completely understand but if you do add uh the earliest the two dollar uh stage see this is hard doing it in one take but uh at the lowest tier uh for two dollars you get early access to reactions like this uh, however at higher level tiers you also get reactions to uh live stages variety shows and more so yeah tune in for that uh but supporting us monetarily oh my god sorry this is so hard uh supporting us monetarily is completely optional we understand it's a hard time out there for everyone so if you guys don't want to you know what let's just watch this video this is aria by crazy and this is your form of therapy all right three two one Right, there is no audio. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, love the editing. Wow, this shot. Ooh. Okay, everything about this from the music to the cinematography. Everything is very cinematic. I'm digging it. Love this progression. Okay. The way they cut to this girl with just like no instrumental. That was dope. Oh, is this the chorus? <laughs> that chorus was weird. Let's wait for the second listen through. All right, we get it. So this girl's the talent of the group. She's like the bulls. Better, better. Yes, yes, okay. The, the transition from the first verse to the first chorus was too seamless. That small little pause in the second part, way, way better. What an abrupt transition. What an abrupt transition. Oh, damn, I love this camera work. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. The progression into the final chorus was awesome. Ooh, 
love that little subtle footwork. Okay, I can see why y'all wanted me to check this out. Okay, so uh, we're going to watch that again for sure. But first initial impressions. Aria by Crazy. It's not a perfect debut. Um, there are certainly some things that they could work on. But the other things that they do well, I think they do it extremely well. That's the thing. It's kind of crazy how good this group is. I think some of the members, um, their lines could use a little bit of adjusting. Um, I don't like how they sang certain parts or it just didn't feel clean. Um, and I think that would have been on the producer to kind of clean that up, um, make them redo takes or whatever, or rewrite the melody in a different way. Um, but... With that said, I think the music video, the music video is also weird. It goes from high budget to not high budget to. Oh, guys, remember to sneeze into your elbow and to practice social distancing. But the um, the um, music video, it was both. It was well made overall. There were just some scenes where I'm like, eh, doesn't look that great. You know what? Let's just watch it again, and then we'll do like a play by through. Also, man, this song is long. I like it, but man, it's long. I I love a very rich song like this. All right, three, two, one. This opening with like dead silence is weird. Also, I don't know why they're. Hold on. I don't know why they're on this set because they never bring it back and this doesn't match their themes at all in any way whatsoever. They don't have like a rainbow theme. They don't have uh, a crystal theme. So I, this set makes no sense because um, the rest of the music video has a very strong historical, like a Korean historical influence to it. Um, maybe it's just for the intro, but it still feels odd. It feels like an outlier. Yeah, so like it stops right there and then it transitions into this and this long sweeping shot like this like well it's not a sweeping shot I guess this long straight zoom so cool so cool you know a lot of what makes videos look cinematic is cinematic movement and cinematic movement would be a movement like this. A little speed ramping to speed it up. Okay, that transition from going from this really fast rapping to like almost silence is my favorite part. That's so cool. This girl also has a great raspy tone. She reminds me of somebody else. I don't remember who. This set is weird to me. Um, I think like it's lit poorly. Where okay, so you've got this uh, infinite horizon uh, backdrop, but like you've got this bleeding like either sunrise or sunset and she's wearing light pink and then the background is light pink and then her hair is pink it's just too much pink um i i, I think just like I, having this sort of look is not a problem what makes it weird is just like the it looks like the sky is blown out and when you're an amateur filmmaker and you film outside you have blown out skies so that that feels weird but this is all this is this isn't real. It's it's not an actual sky element. They had to insert that in. So why would you insert in a bad sky? It's just weird. I did notice, however, this is this is actually really cool. Um, their stage is water. They put water on the stage. So first of all, it's casting a reflection from this flower wall, and then when they're dancing, it's also um, it's also they're stepping on the water too.
Hmm. It's also weird that they did that when they don't utilize it a lot. And like she's wearing like boots with heels, so none of her dancing is making use of the water. The water, maybe it's purely just for the reflection effect. And it does work with the sky. Um, but that doesn't mean are we even getting the reflection of the sky in the water? No, we're not. So that's actually weird. So I mean that just goes to show you that the sky is CG, but if you were to actually accurately um uh do this you would and this is why I, I i don't think adding water into this element was a good idea either um you don't see you don't see the clouds and the water elements oh okay they do hold on they do bring back the crystals i was wrong okay see again blown out blown out at least what makes this better is that they have the crystals in the middle to kind of add as sort of like a middleman so that even if it's blown out they don't look like they're disappearing into the white overexposed sky so i don't know what the rationale was Also, that transition to the chorus, it, to the first chorus, I don't like it. I think the way they're singing, they sing in such a low tone. And the drop, that like, there isn't a huge change in the progression. Um, so it just, it does not feel like this is the chorus, if you're not paying attention. Like this part, I can't even tell if this part is, if this is a part of the chorus. Damn, when her voice comes in though, that's insane. That transition with the flower petals is really nice. I, man, I really don't like this scene. It's so bright. It just does not fit with the rest of the aesthetic of the music video. Ooh, her voice. That drop. That's where it's at. And then just so abrupt. I gotta say, her set is fucking dope. I love it. You got these spikes, which kind of makes it feel like a battlefield. And then she has a throne on top, and it looks like, oh, that's a bow and arrow, actually, by her side. And you've got arrows sticking out of the battlefield. Uh, and then you've got, like, some kind of white, maybe it's supposed to be snow, littering the ground. This part. I don't like this part. I feel like her vocals sound really weird during that part. Damn, but this... Mm. Oh. Okay, so the editing for that part was really dope, but what I actually really like is the cameraman gets up in their faces. Like, a lot. Look how up in their face he is. Or she is. Or they is. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that movement? 
when her hands go up, the camera, there's like a delay, and then the camera also... Oh no, it was, it was the same time. God, hold on, that, that shot's really nice. It's almost like she's controlling the camera and she's like raising it. It's so cool. God, I love it. Like, they're sweeping like this, and then they push in on her. And then right here, they're pushed in on her, like, right up in her face. And they pull out. Oh. I will say another thing that makes this really cinematic and what's really well shot, you know, I think just in general, see, so here, these, this overexposed lighting, you still see it on like, um, the girl with the red hair, um, there's like, it's just, it's a little bit too bright, but here it works because they're dancing against the sun. And so that's actually a very good representation of the lighting of like, oh, there's a backlight and it's a little overexposed, especially because it's it's the sun. So it makes sense in that context. In the previous dance, it did not. But I like this set in particular here because another thing that makes music videos and videos and film in general more cinematic and what a lot of beginners don't get is distance. When you can see the backdrop and when you can see like it continuing to go, when it feels endless... It's a lot more cinematic. When you, when you can see the wall, that is when you sort of break the sense of um, uh, sense of disbelief. And that's when it feels more like a set and it feels a lot smaller. This obviously did not film in space, but you still have this sense of disbelief that, oh, this is a very beautiful, gorgeous set. As opposed to, oh, this is a boxed in, terrible green screen uh, setup. Because you can actually see the distance and it feels a lot richer um i think the angle might be slightly a bit wrong um uh, where the camera is placed compared to the green screen but you know what we will ignore that because this was a very great music video uh i would i would rate this i would rate this debut as a really solid really really good debut again there was just a couple lines that uh i thought eh, was a little bit cringy but i think that's just rookie-itis, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I think there's a lot of potential here. Uh, I think the music video, like I said, was a little bit... It wasn't all over the place. It was a little over the place. But uh, overall, the good parts of the music video and the good parts of the song make up for that. So I would say this is a really strong and really solid debut. Uh, but guys, what did you think of Crazy's debut with Aria? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you would like to support us, patreon.com slash therapy is the best way to do so. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos like this. However, if you support just a little bit more, uh, we get live uh, variety and drama reactions. So you can go ahead and check that out on Patreon. But supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to support us monetarily or you can't, we understand. How about you go ahead and support us for free by hitting like down below. Helps us out a lot. Helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. When you leave a comment, go ahead and click subscribe. If you're new, hit that notification bell and be notified when we upload a new video. And go ahead and check out all our other videos over here.